Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. That's when I go through my pockets. Actually, I go on top of my desk before I leave with my pockets stuffed full of good stuff. Um, this is kind of what's going to take me through the day. And one extra knife that I almost carry today. It is Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. I'm recording this right before a big thunderstorm hits the East Coast. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get this done before you hear all the thunder and lightning. Well, actually, you'll hear the thunder. <laughs> I'll see the lightning. Um couple of things. I'll tell you, I've been waiting for Spydeco. Spydeco got in touch with me and kind of surprised me. I'm still waiting for the lightweight Sage 5 and the lightweight, was it the police? I think it's the police, right? Yeah, the lightweight police. Or was it lightweight military? I think it's white lightweight police. Anyway, I'm waiting for those two and they're going to send me a bunch of kitchen knives. So <laughs> when those come, I'll show you the bunch of kitchen knives. Um, I fry a good steak and microwave great vegetables. So we'll see <laughs> what that does. <laughs> and so I was going to take it easy because I've, I've been spending way too much on knives lately. And I've been saying, okay, Kevin, take it easy, take it easy. And I found a wonderful source. I'm going to get to the part of deconstruction, but... I found this wonderful trusted source who um, have a lot of older Spydecos. So I made a big buy and I'll probably make some more uh, when money allows. So hopefully, not hopefully, starting Friday, two more days from now, like I said, it's Wednesday, August 28th, you'll start seeing Two of the knives are knives that I've never gotten my hands on. They're all new in the box. They were a collector that just kept them in the boxes. Two of them that I've been drooling over, I finally have. And three of them that I actually trimmed to you guys and I missed desperately. <laughs> I mean, literally missed desperately. And they have some more too, so I'm excited. So we will have more Spydeco, new old Spydecos coming your way. But right now, one of my favorite watches. As you can see, I love chronographs. I really do. This is my Concord Impresario with the see-through back. Just a wonderful kni uh, knife. Listen to me. Just a wonderful watch. Oh, hold on. Oh, Partagus. I, I really love Partagus. I get them in all shapes. Um, oh, what a great smoke. Cuban cigar. Um, I expect they love, I, ex I really love them when they sit in my humidors for a while. Oh. Um, Shown design pin. As usual, this is the aluminum pen uh, with the clip. I actually have two of them. I ordered one uh, along with the other versions of the clips. And then because I bought six um, pins at one time and a the limited base, um, he threw in something real special, an aluminum pen. And he knew, let's see how we do this. Here we go. Whoops, wrong way. And he knew I had a YouTube channel. Well, at least I know that, maybe not the YouTube, but he knew I had an Instagram. So, at Keith Kevin Ken sketched into it. So that's real nice. The aluminum pins are by far the lightest pin. Um, by far. I, I tend to go with the heavier pins. <sighs> Still single malt scotch. I think when I flip it up, 
<laughs> I'm going through my single malt. Um, I don't know. I've just been in a single malt scotch mood. Very reflective. Um, uh, and also, um, it just tastes so good. <laughs> Especially with a great cigar. <laughs> so, <laughs> variety be damned. Okay? I just want that great sippability of the single malt scotch. Um, one of my notepads, I, I found these word pads on um, Amazon years ago and just bought a bunch of them in all different colors. So that's my pad for today. My coin is one of my favorites. This is, um, let's see, there we go, darken it a little. This is the, uh, from the U.S. Mint, it's a Liberty coin, came out in 2017, celebrating 25 years of the Liberty on coins. Um, they release the regular series, the, a regular coin, and I bought that in both proof and regular. Um, and then they had a series of four coins, all in different special makes. They're all one ounce coins. This one is what we call a reverse proof. A proof coin is when the background is all shiny and the instrument, the subject, isn't. And then special coins are reverse proof where they make the instrument, the subject, shiny. See how you can mirror shine and the background not. I love this series of four um, coins. I love these coins, period. They're just so beautiful. So that means I have, I don't know, four or five different versions of this. Just a wonderful coin. Of course, again, I, a couple of you, just beautiful uh, responses when I, I showed a coin, I think it was yesterday, um, and gave me, talked about their grandfathers, one gentleman, which I loved, talked about how both of his grandfathers carried silver dollars in their pockets and the same silver dollar, which most people do. They're not... I do it because I, I want something to force me to go through my collection. But usually it's the same and it wears down. One of them, uh, he said, one of his grandfathers had one um, that was worn down that he made into a watch fob. Ah, thank you for sharing me your personal stories. I really appreciate it. It wasn't just my grandfather who carried um, silver dollars. You guys should know, I really love Serge Pachanko. I was introduced to Serge through this coin, his Coin Claw series. Of course, this is series two. I have two of his original Coin Claws that are the Midtex, which cost pretty a good amount of money. And then Serge came up with some production versions and if you can see his logo is usually just this SP but when you have a little P that means he has production coins I would love to have more of them but they sold out so quick on Blade HQ even the productions weren't that many of them but I was lucky enough to get two of those coins this is one of them it's generation two of the claw coin and it has uh, carbon fiber with the blue hardware and Bowler M390 steel on these, which is really nice. Hawk bill blade, one inch blade. I mean, the entire size is just 2.6 inches, only 0.8 ounces, a lot lighter than that coin. I love these. Put a chain through. They actually came with a chain that you could put around your neck like a medallion or like I do. I put it on my keychain. And let me tell you something. No one even knows it's a knife. 
And yes, it looks beautiful. It's sharp, great steel. Nice for just little small things that you can cut with. Just a really beautiful and nice knife. I wanted to carry a Chris Reeve knife. I don't know what's going on with Chris Reeve this year. I know that they have um, the Sabenza 30, right? Yeah, Sabenza 30, a new Sabenza and inlays. I've seen pictures of them. I guess you can order direct, but they haven't distributed them to their distributors. Um, and so hopefully that will happen in a couple of months or so. But this, of course, is the Blade HQ exclusive, small in Kosi, one of my favorite, one of the newer knives from Chris Reeve and by far one of my favorites. I have a lot of these. I will probably trim a couple of them, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll pro I will be selling some Chris Reeve knives, but uh, they'll probably be the larger Chris Reeve knives because I've fallen in love with the small Nkosis. And of course, this one I trimmed a while ago and then I went and lucked up and found a straggler on Blade HQ. Again, an exclusive from Blade HQ um, with the carbon fiber inlay, the polish, titanium. You can tell, and of course, with these three, three strips for the inlay on polish, the non-polish lock bar, which I love, and clip. S35 VN steel from Crucible. 2.7 inches. It's a little bit smaller than the small Sabenza 21. The total length is 6.5 inches. It only weighs 2.8 ounces. So, and I figured with those carbon fiber inlays and the carbon fiber highlight and the small lightness of all of this, that this is gonna be a real nice carry for today, those two. I don't know, I guess maybe I was thinking about <laughs> the kitchen knives that Spyderco's gonna send me, a bunch of kitchen knives. Inexpensive, so I'm gonna use them. Um, it'll give me a chance to use them in the kitchen or uh, knock wood, maybe one day in my mobile home or van that I travel around with. So I picked up the closest thing to it, one of my top five best Spydecos. Someone asked me that I need to do another top five. Yeah, probably will. I like the top five I did, but I do need to do a couple of those group knife kind of collections. I'll do a couple of those coming up soon but this is the spidey chef one of my favorite knives i just love this knife that blade shape with that big belly gives you a good chance of slicing it's a full flat ground blade 3.3 inch blade it has that lc 200 in steel it's rust proof You've been seeing that with Spydeco a lot. They still have H1 steel on a number of their knives, but over the past couple of years, you've been seeing the LC200N steel, which is rust-proof, developed by NASA. Yeah, to be used on spaceships and all of that sort of thing, their tools. Um, so it's a great knife that is rust proof titanium scales see-through construction wire clip right hand and left hand tip up only nice thin too it fits great in the hand i'm talking about slicing because it's called a spider chef and it has kind of that 
if you have a chef's knife in your kitchen kind of that shape but this is perfect all around EDC knife it really is and rust proof to boot the wire clip which I love of course and yes it has that Chris Reeve Intercool frame lock that Spydeco always uses just a wonderful knife I intended to carry that because I know it's going to start raining. <laughs> so in case I got caught in the rain. But I decided to go the fancy way instead. There you have it. That's the Pocket Dump Deconstruction. Can't wait till I get the new knives. Which I should be getting on Friday. Knock wood. Hopefully everything goes right. Two days from today. I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. I hope you guys are doing well. I know, I've got that bug. I need to stop buying collector things, coins and stuff. I need to stop. Let's get serious here. <laughs> but every time uh, uh, something about collecting gets my heart going, I'm happy because uh, I've decided that I want to have the joy of a kid. <laughs> joy of a kid. The smarts of an old man. Right? And just make uh, this life wonderful. Kiss my kids more. My grandsons more. And enjoy life. I hope that's what you guys do. I hope you're enjoying your life as well. That's it. Have a good one. Take care. Take care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.